gonna rerun all our memories right It's just a matter of time before your cheeks turn into peaches and the stars realize Another glass of wine to find the diamonds in your eyes, darling Another glass of wine, you know it's time We're kind of shooting stars on the side of my bed And now your lips tattooed on the side of my neck Another glass won't heal you, right? Gladly she replies You got me running circles the side of my head Now we're doing everything that I wish you had seen Another glass won't heal you, right? Gladly she replies Like oh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Today is currently Monday, August 15th, and it is my first day of grad school. Okay, well, I start classes on the 22nd, but my orientation is today. It is currently 7.15 in the morning, and I have to be there at 7.45, so I'm packing up all my stuff to get ready <laughs> to go. I did my makeup because I'm getting my picture taken, so I had to make sure I look good, you know what I'm saying? Luckily, I packed my bag last night. I'm just bringing my coach bag for now because I'm not I'm not getting too much stuff, I think, today. <sighs> I'm trying to think of what I'm most nervous for and what I'm most excited for. <sighs> I cannot believe we're here. I feel like as soon as I moved, the summer literally just flew on by and I don't know if I like it. Like, I'm a grad student, you guys. I'm in grad school. It's just not hitting me that I'm in grad school. That is crazy. This is something I've thought about for the last year and a half, and now we are here. But I'm gonna get my bag, get some water, and I'm gonna head out the door so I can get there nice and early. This is my outfit of the day. Just a cute little shirt, white pants, and then some Vans. I was gonna wear black, but I can't find my black jeans. And I think I, actually, I, think I accidentally gave them to Goodwill, so rip <laughs> but yeah i'm gonna try and film some little clips throughout the week and give you guys a recap as to how orientation went but with that being said let's go day one so i thought i would give you guys a little bit of a recap as to what happened on that day so let's see i was there from 7 30 to i think three around three ish three ten so it was a long day i got there ate breakfast first thing we got was our got my name tag so it feels very much official now i have friends i think i have friends it was a really good day i got my name tag i got my laptop from the university they all gave us a laptop to use while we are here so we got the laptop what else we do we got our professional photos taken for the website i registered for class so i'm taking four classes this semester i rotate through two labs each of my rotations are seven weeks each and they don't start till the 29th but i start classes next week if that makes sense got a tour of the building some of the common lab equipment like the autoclaves and things like that um i <laughs> my cat's rolling around i did several different little rotations to find people that i like so it was like a little speed rotation with like eight different people 
and I will talk to them for a few minutes, then rotate to the other section. Meetings, we got our med accounts signed up. We got our student IDs. I think I'm gonna show that in the last vlog. We got our student IDs registered so we can swipe in the building because we can't get in otherwise unless someone like swipes us in and we have to have an ID with us at all times. Overall, it was a really good day. Our cohort seems to be very close, which is nice. It's very small, it's like seven people, eight people. It's eight people including me. It's eight people and we all seem to know each other. We all just, just talk. I got my parking pass today, finally. I ordered my parking pass. So that's all good. I am now legal to park on the campus without receiving a ticket. So that's all good and dandy. Filled out some more compliance forms. Took a fire and HIPAA training that I had to do. I have some more trainings that I have to do. I have to set up my student health insurance. And then I took a nap. <laughs> I literally like, I'm like, I'm gonna stay awake. I finished like all my training at like 5.30ish. And the next thing I knew, it was 5.45 and then I wake up and it's 7.25. So literally I took a nap. So I'm literally just feeling this as I wake up. And I realized how tired I was because I forgot so much key detailing. As I was telling Josiah a recap of my day, I'm just like, oh wow, I was really, really tired. But I think I'm gonna prep for another day tomorrow. Tomorrow is a little bit of a later day. It's from nine till 3.30, so 3.34. Overall, I think we're gonna cook dinner pretty soon. I don't know what we're gonna do for dinner. I'm probably gonna do one more training, then maybe we're gonna head to Walmart, maybe? I don't know yet, but I'm getting up at 6.45 a.m. tomorrow again. I think it's gonna be the update for now. Like, I had a really good first day, and that's really all I could ask for. I was so nervous this morning, like, walking into the building. I was so nervous. And now it's like, I don't really feel as nervous to go back tomorrow. So I guess that's, I guess that's a good thing. <laughs> but that's gonna be the update for now, and I will catch up with you guys probably in a little bit if we're going to Walmart and picking out what we're gonna eat for dinner. I'll catch up with you then. We're cooking burgers for dinner. Bacon and cheddar. Oh, what? <laughs> Candy wants He some. just ate. I'm sorry, you can't eat this stuff. It's mom and dad's turn. I mean, you know that. All right. Just selfish. She's about to cut some tomatoes. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> and I'm hungry. I haven't eaten since 12 o'clock. And it's 10 o'clock. Same. So. It's been a long day. I'm hangry. Apparently, Kenzie is hangry too. Your food in your bowl, Kenzie wins. She wants food. Hi. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something about her features. You'll find her beauty goes much deeper. Once you get to meet her, you see her walking. Good morning, guys. It is orientation day two. I am there from 9 till like 3, 3.30ish. And it's time for me to hit the road. I had breakfast, made coffee, as you guys saw. This is my outfit of the day. Just a black dress and my tan pumas. But um, I think I'm gonna head out the door because it's already 8.30 and I wanna get there a little bit early for walking purposes. It's 9.30 and I'm making fish for dinner. Come away, hi. Oh, they came to see me. I'm making catfish for dinner. This is not catfish, this is tilapia. <laughs> you are so dramatic. I kid you not, every time I come home, I take a nap because I'm tired. I put in more in Oh, you're just gonna risk it, huh? I love how we only have just a little bit of butter left. good morning guys it is orientation day three and i realized i didn't recap my day yesterday because i was so tired and i took a nap and then i went to the store cooked dinner you guys saw that and then i edited an entire vlog <laughs> 
last night. I don't know why I decided to do that, but yesterday it was just a lot of informational like meetings essentially. So for our, we had meetings until I think it was like 10.30. Then I came before 10.30 to like close to three o'clock. So it was my fire training, my lab training, like what to do in case of an emergency, how to store away hazardous waste, all that fun stuff. So not really much happened yesterday. I did get swipe access to the building yesterday so I could just swipe my little card <laughs> and then I'm in and ready to go. Today is kind of a shorter day. Today we are doing a basic lab technique training and then we're going to pick up our lab visit. Oh yeah, 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 I forgot. That's, that's what I forgot. I had to choose who I wanted to, whose labs I wanted to visit yesterday. So I submitted that and today we're going to pick them up and then tomorrow is Thursday and all we're doing is lab visits and then Friday is our retreat. So we are halfway <laughs> through the week. I think me getting up at 6 a.m. is starting to get to me because now I'm very tired and this morning my alarm was set for six and I didn't get out of bed till 6.56. So, and I think that is it. I have to leave in like literally like five minutes but I wanna make a matcha to go real quick so. That's going to be it. I will try and recap you guys when I get home. I see you hide yourself. Today is currently Thursday. I'm about to go off to school. I did my makeup this morning and I honestly really like the blue, but I have to get my photo retaken because when they took my photo on Monday, the autofocus went out. So I have to go in and get my photo retaken for the school website and other things. Today I have lab visits from 8.30 to 12 today. So I'm talking to seven different PI, so gonna be a long day. I woke up a little bit late this morning, so I'm making my coffee to go because I have to head out the door early to get gas and things like that. I don't think I gave a recap of yesterday. I was really anxious yesterday, so I wasn't really in the vlogging mood. I just kind of came home and studied, which is what you guys saw. So today I'm hoping it's gonna be a little bit better. <laughs> I woke up feeling a little bit better. Just, you know, I don't know. I think it's just the adjustment period is what's making me like so anxious and stuff like that. But I'm feeling a little bit better. Today is my like last and final day of like having a set schedule. Tomorrow I have a biomedical retreat and then we're all gonna go out to eat. So it's more of a chill day tomorrow, thank goodness, because these days have been so jam packed and I have been so tired because they are so jam packed. So yeah i'm gonna make my coffee and then i'm gonna go and i'm gonna go and get gas and i will catch up with you guys in a little bit only got two more rotations left and then i'm free so i'll ask how is life in hollywood for your dreams came true Good morning guys, happy Friday, the last day of grad orientation and I survived and I'm happy but I'm also very, very tired. So today is currently around 7.58. I don't have to be there technically until like 8.45 so I thought I would go get breakfast on campus today instead of cooking today. So I thought I'd treat myself for finishing the end of the week. I think I'm gonna try Einstein's bagels for the first time. Yesterday was tiring, but it was really, really good. I'm stuck between five different rotations that I want to rotate with, so I, only, I can only pick four. 
So I gotta narrow it down. So I'm gonna narrow it down today with some questions that I'm gonna ask at the coaster session. And then after our retreat, it ends at three o'clock, we are going to go out to dinner for a graduate mixer. So all of us can just like kind of talk and mingle and you know, break the ice, I guess is that, I guess that's what you would say. But I'm gonna go get some breakfast because I am really hungry and I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. I apologize for the lighting if I look really yellow, my bad. But you guys, we did it. We survived the first week of grad school and I am very, very tired. Today was a really good day. So today we just had our biomedical retreat where we watched some presentations, some awards given out, and then we had lunch, hung out for a bit. And let's see what happened after that. We had a poster presentation and then we all went out for pizza and a beer. So I don't drink beer, but I got like a few cocktails. So <laughs> I'm a little bit tipsy. And yes, I'm over 21 in case anyone was wondering. But we survived the first week. It was definitely interesting. If you want a story time on this, like let me know. But I was unprepared for how much anxiety. <laughs> Today was also a really good day because I got to speak with the program directors and let them know my thoughts and concerns. And they're very, very supportive. Like, they, may, they told me everything I'm feeling is normal and natural for someone who switches programs, switches fields, and that I'm going to be fine, which I feel like I'm going to be fine. It's just the heavy imposter syndrome hit because I started to really experience a lot of self doubt, if that makes sense. Like, I was really doubting, like, is this program right for me? Do I fit here? Do I belong here? And no one ever gave me that feeling like I didn't belong. It was just like a lot of self doubt where I felt like I'm nowhere near as smart as these people. Like these people seem so much smarter than me. Why am I here sort of thing? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like nobody came out cocky. It was just like an internal conflict within myself that I had to deal with. And once I realized that everyone got here because they're smart, including myself, then I belong here, so long-winded answer i feel a lot better now but and i think i'm gonna chill for a little bit and then i'm probably gonna go and shop and buy myself something to celebrate finishing my first week of school because it was definitely a week and i'm happy for the weekend and then sunday we're gonna go to the beach kind of decompress and then monday i will start school so i'll definitely film a first day of grad school video that be coming live to my channel soon also i don't know if anyone's gonna watch this far but my videos are going to go to once a week and i'm thinking wednesdays probably at maybe wednesdays at noon i think it's the one i'm gonna post wednesdays at noon i just got home so i thought i'll show you guys what i got before i go take a shower kenzie's here too being nosy looking through my bags hi you want to say hi to the vlog oh you want to say hi to the vlog no you don't want to see her do the vlog. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I missed you. Okay. Anyways. So, I stopped at TJ Maxx. I picked up some more coffee syrup for my coffee. So, I got the classic caramel flavor. I do some retail therapy because I felt like I earned it. Because it was a rough week. A little bit of a rough week, but I accomplished it. And I got this glass. It's very pretty. I really like the way this looks. Can't wait to make my iced coffees and drinks in here. <laughs> Candle. It says, hello, fall. That's what I picked up. Dump this candle. It's just the white pumpkin. Definitely like setting the fall vibes. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like I started school. I feel like it's fall now, so. I picked up a Halloween candle. This is just blood orange punch and it's got little bats on it. If you like my grad school videos, hit the subscribe button because that's pretty much what I will be filming along with some other videos from now on since that is going to be a big part of my life. This is the toasted pumpkin. Yes, honey, this is what I picked up. Just setting all the fall vibes. Okay, so for TJ Maxx, let's go to Marshall's. I got but then I don't care about the glass. I got this headband for my hair to hold my hair back so I can wash my face and stuff so my hair doesn't get in the way. So I just got this cute little headband. 
So it gets the job done. Some strawberry syrup. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this yet. I do have an idea where I'm gonna try and make a like strawberry and vanilla like matcha. That's what I'm gonna try. So I picked up some strawberry syrup for this and I figured that would be good. So that is exactly what I got. So that's all for this haul. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go take a shower, light some candles, but I think I'm going to end the vlog here. So I just wanna thank you guys so much for watching this vlog and giving it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you wanna come along on my grad school journey. And I will see you guys in my first day of school vlog. Bye.